What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. What we're going to be talking about today is the team of the week players that have been delayed and which ones you should invest in. What are the best players that you should probably be looking for right now? Why should you be looking for them? And should you wait? I've been getting a lot of questions, obviously, about Alvin Kamara. Um, he does start over Bo Jackson on my Raiders team team. Do I still like recommend Bo? Yes and no. Bo is a very, very unique card because if you don't have a Raiders theme team, he's probably going to suck. Um, but on a Raiders theme team, those boosts are just wild and savage. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really ridiculous. Some of you guys here that are New Orleans Saints fans, you guys just want to have the card, obviously, because you're a fan of the Saints. Uh, his price is a little bit hefty. Uh, now that the zero chill has been done and there are no more rerolls, there are, you know, there isn't, I, I meant to say, any other specific way to get him other than to probably buy him unless when Series 4 drops, they actually, you know, put him in as a redux. Now, I don't know if they're going to do that. Probably more than likely they will. There is a lot of bunched up content that's going to be coming out. So for those of you guys that are no money spent players, write NMS in the comment section because we're going to have a lot of stuff that's going to be going on that's going to put a lot of coin in your pocket uh, based on what they're going to have to do. Now, they haven't released a lot of the other stuff uh, that they usually do on schedule. Some of you guys spoke about the rivals. It's different things that they usually do to give the no money spent players other ways to get, you know, mutt coins and earn free players. Now, they did do a good job with the chill factor. I got to give them credit for that. Like I said, I'm down the middle, bro. EA does something right, they get kudos. They do something wrong, we on their butt cheeks like they got a pork chop on it, and we're hyenas. All right, so right now, you should have been able to make out decently with what happened with the zero chill. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Alvin Kamara is going to be good for one reason. They're going to have to give him a boost of speed and acceleration. Now, on a regular team, remember, I am Raiders team team. He's going to be 98-99, more than likely, because they have to give it to him. He had a six touchdown game. He's going to have to get it, right? Do I recommend going after him now? I don't know if I want to say absolutely, because realistically speaking, right, Reggie Bush... That dude right there is a monster if he only played for the Raiders because he actually spins the right way. Alvin Kamara cannot spin, but he has a very, very nasty juke, though. Uh, what's his juke rating, by the way? Let's go check that. Um, juke move 95. So he has a very, very dirty like juke move side to side with the right analog stick. That could pretty much work out for you decently. But I don't want to say, yo, bro, go spend 700K or whatever his price is right now for the investment. But is he a really good card to have? Yes, because he moves faster than everybody else on the field. And it's weird because he will get caught from behind, but his lateral movement is really ridiculous. Just so that I'm kind of explaining to you thoroughly why he starts over Bo Jackson. He goes in there, he weighs the defense down, and then Bo comes in and just starts smashing everybody up. That's typically what goes on. So if you already have him, you know, on a um, on a theme team, he's already 99 speed. Now look, EA Sports might try to do something stupid, like give him boost or something else other than the speed, but I don't think that will fly with the community and it'll be a lot of rage. So for those of us that are not Saint theme teams, we should still get him up to a 98, 99 Excel. Just so everybody's aware of that, right? Um, I'm gonna keep him because I think that he's good, although he can't spin. And spinning is so important in this game. Like. If you got a player that can spin, and remember, the spin rating doesn't make any sense because if that was the case, you would be able to, like Barry Sanders would be the best player to spin with, but Barry Sanders can't spin. So we all know that. You know what I'm saying? So the spin rating is fake and doesn't make sense, but at the same time, we know the players that can spin, like Bo Jackson can spin, Reggie Bush can spin. Let me know if any of the other players that you have have a decent spin, but those are just some of the running backs I know for a fact can actually spin. Now... When we go back and we look at Josh Allen, that is like the biggest talk of the town because we had Josh Allen for a very, very long time and he was a pretty, you know, pretty decent quarterback. You know, he handled business for me and all that kind of stuff like that. The issue is this, right? When he gets his other team of the week or they hold him off and then give, give him a team of the year, would I be willing to part ways with Rich Gannon? Because a lot of us use Rich Gannon, obviously, because he's able to get Hot Rock Master and Gunslinger. Would we go ahead and get rid of the guy? That is something that we have to discuss. I'm not ready to say that I would get rid of Gannon right now because Gannon plays extremely well. But Josh, Al Josh Allen, he's gonna get boosted numbers because he already has one team of the week. 
but he's been playing outstanding so more than likely he's going to get something else and that's going to create a situation where it's like yo Jemaya what are we doing especially if he gets team of the year if he gets a team of the year we have no choice well that uh, I don't want to say we don't have a choice because you know what it is it's probably going to amount to the same type of um, attributes and everything like that like as far as like putting the abilities on them you're probably going to still use five because gunslinger is going to be two and then maybe hot rock master will be three you know like if he unlocks it uh it, you know you know what i'm trying to say like they're probably going to make him be able to unlock it so this was his most recent card i believe when he had a team of the week in week nine so if you look at the numbers he was already a 99 throw power his short mid and all that stuff and deep was kind of off that obviously will go up now the reason that i'm pointing this out for team of the week is because some of you guys still use josh allen if you haven't used that free herbert or whatever most of you guys are still using josh allen his boost to speed and his deep mid and short is going to make him a very very good quarterback but i also believe they're going to do something to try to sneak john elway in the game and he might also be a game changer you know obviously he'll be strong arm and more than likely be able to unlock hot route master as well so that might be something we have to watch but investing in josh allen right now if you're a Raider theme team, I don't really want to say to do it. Like, if you go get his power up or do anything right now, just prepare because I don't really see a situation where, you know, most of us have power passes just chilling, so we won't have a problem, you know, being able to bypass this. So his investment is not as ridiculous, plus 90K. I don't know how many of us want to just buy these cards up. Like, it don't really make any sense. If you're trying to make a profit, it's probably going to be through the sets that they're going to put out for, um, for Team of the Week and Team of the Year, I mean. When you know they have the segments of, you know, specialists, offense and defense, you're going to be able to use a lot of cards in your binder to go ahead and do that. But this right here, I don't think it would make much sense. And I don't know a lot of people that have Bill's theme teams. So it's like you, you would be putting him on a team that he doesn't go with. And then he also lacks those traits and those, you know, actual boost because he's not part of the team that you're building. Many of you guys do not have, obviously, Bill theme teams. So putting him on your team you're obviously going to be taking away another spot and then you're going to have to fill it in somewhere for us we have 52 of the raiders so we're pretty good if we wanted to go back but i just think right now josh allen is probably the best suited qb even though josh, you know josh allen would be you know a decent speed he'll go to 86 plus the 288 he might get to like 90 or something but you know to be honest with me bro be honest with you gannon he's out there doing big things gannon doing big things and then finally that that piece of garbage Darren Waller now in real life the dude's a stud real life I got no issue with him I still got a couple of his cards actually um you know sitting in my binder I don't like his card so some of you guys are like yo bro he's pretty good this and that I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys he's not though like he's not that good of a card now when he first came out I thought that EA would make him jump many of us have difficulties letting our players jump and animate right so we all know that deal. EA does not want us out there mossing. They don't want us really doing anything crazy. So that's just something that goes on within the game. When you look at his numbers, he's going to get an upgrade no matter what because he's been consistently over 100 yards all these weeks. So he's getting a team of the week. He's going to get a boost. More than likely for the Raiders, would he get the team of the year player? I, maybe I, you know I, I think he what do you guys think I think he would right like he's probably been the best player on that team I would assume well Josh Jacobs been pretty good too but Darren Wall has been pretty good so I would assume that he would get something he's gonna be getting a lot of stuff he's a very very unique situation though some of you guys really like him some of you guys understand why I hate him and it's like really you know really wild. we go back and forth about it I will I stand by what I feel though I think he's a terrible tight end in this game he doesn't move the right way. They don't let him animate. He's pretty much a middle linebacker on offense. He doesn't animate. Will he animate for a bum, though, that throws it into coverage? Yes, because EA wants that. But I'm just talking about logically clicking on, trying to get the ball. He's not very, very good at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just not... It doesn't really work out. So I would not really go... I don't. It, it's very difficult to, like, really just say, yo, the dude's garbage, but he's not that good of a player in this game. Real life, he is stud. I want him on my team right now. Madden, not so much. Because that 6'6 six, six doesn't mean anything on the field. It, me it means nothing. It means absolutely zero in Madden 21. We'll see what they do in 22, but they've done a horrific job 
of letting the bigger players go up and get the ball. So his investment would be very, very dangerous. If you want to go that route, because remember, he's a Raider and I'm not using him. That's how bad I think. Bro, he's so bad, I'm using other tight ends off other teams to avoid using this idiot because I know how he moves and he just doesn't do what he's supposed to do. And he has all the numbers. It's just for the fact that EA doesn't want him to be that good because if that was the case, he's so big and tall, he would just catch everything and just be wild. So they don't want that. So they make him a little bit worse than the other players. The funny thing is though, Jermichael Finley actually animates jumps, does all that stuff at 6'5". What's the big deal with 6'6"? It's something really crazy about this game, and I just don't know what it is, and it drives us all crazy. But his investment will be very, very difficult because I honestly don't believe at this point they would prefer Darren Waller over Jermichael Finley. They just wouldn't. Jermichael Finley, has, his numbers are ridiculous, and we all know he jumps and animates. So this is just to give you guys an idea of the team of the week. Out of those three cards that I named, and, and, and do me a favor guys, name some of the players that you think are gonna be getting team of the week over the next couple weeks, and then we'll do a video about that as well. I wanna see what you know what players you think you know stood out and didn't stuff. I know Tom Brady had a decent game, uh, Drew Brees with a noodle arm. Uh, you know, th th we had guys, Mitchell Trubisky even had a good game. Um, there's a lot of you guys that are gonna probably put out some wild names, but I wanna hear what you guys are thinking, you know, for the team of the week that's gonna be coming up. As far as investing though, with Kamara, let, let's check Kamara's press right now because his price is gonna probably, it, it's just something unique about the card. And I think the EA developers felt bad because over the last years, they gave him very, very slow cards. Um, they never really were friendly about his ratings, but finally they gave him a card that's good. So with this being the case, I don't really know if we're gonna see that much of a decline. The lowest I saw his card for was 650. A lot of you guys snapped it up. I think I was doing a stream and we looked at it at 650. He just moves differently. And because he's a receiving back and he gets that backfield master for one, I don't use it, but I'm just saying, like, he he moves different. The dude just moves different. That's it. There's nothing else to really talk about. The dude just moves different. So if you were if you already have this card, keep it. If you're looking to get it, 800 k is a ridiculous amount. I would wait it out. But if you really just if you really want a solid running back, he does everything except for spin stop and go, um, his regular juke, you know, dog leg, all kind of stupidness. He does all that really good. He just can't spin. That's the one thing that I hate about him. And he has a pretty good spin rating, by the way. I'll let you guys know this though. Reggie Bush gets a new card. This guy is off the team. Like, like look, look, I'm not a Saints fan, so I don't care about the actual card. I want the best card for the job. This guy, would be gone immediately if they gave me a Reggie Bush with at least 97 speed. I'm not going back to the 49ers to make him 99 speed, but I know that Reggie Bush spins, so that would work. Eric Dickerson, uh, Walter Payton, when those guys come out, we gotta take a look and see what's going on with that. Uh, you Look, having a player that does a natural spin is so key, and that's what I'm really looking for. But side to side, stop and go, stop, you know, quick, fast movement, this guy is really, really good. And he breaks a lot of tackles as well, so that's another bonus for that situation. All right, so do me a favor, guys. Jot down all the team of the weeks you think are coming over the next couple weeks, and then we'll go over it. I'll be able to tell you guys, you know, this is a good investment, this is a good investment, this is not so good of an investment, and we'll go from there. I wanna thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the new year. Thank you so much for your love and support. Check out GMI's World Gaming right here on YouTube. Also check out GMI's World Podcast right here on YouTube. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy your day. One love, y'all.